Minecraft has went through a lot, since the early in-depth stages all the way up to where we are today. We have received many various updates, ranging from whole ban systems to reworks of entire game mechanics. But one update stands out among the rest as the most influential and notable to ever be released in Minecraft's history. With its impact being discussed even up to this day, six years after its release. Today, we'll pick apart this update to its fullest extent and figure out exactly why the opinions on it are so radically torn. My name is IGN Devi, and this is the update that could have killed Minecraft. If this video pushes me over 1.75 thousand subscribers, I will do a 24 hour stream. So if you're feeling generous, please subscribe. For you to understand just how immensely impactful this update was, we have to go back in time. Exactly 13 years back. This is a screenshot from Minecraft Java Edition Classic 0.24 underscore survival underscore test. This is when the first hostile mobs were ever added to Minecraft. What now seems like a cornerstone of the game back then was completely new. The concept was simple. Left click on the mob to deal damage. Pretty clear and straightforward. And over the next 6 years, all the way up to 2016, this concept would evolve. Minecraft players were given new ways to fight mobs and each other. And all of those things are now basics of Minecraft 1.8 PvP. Something the older generation of Minecraft players like myself are very familiar with. Fishing rods, splash potions, bows, and anything you could wish for really. The simplicity gave Minecraft PvP a unique feel. It was something that was so easy to learn, yet was so hard to master. Just look at how impressive 1.8 PvP looks nowadays. The crazy combos, the movement, the clicking techniques. Even today, 1.8 is a beloved version for all PvP-based players. And then came February 29th, 2016 and Mojang went, nah, and chucked literally all of that out of the window. This is Minecraft 1.9, the combat update. It is unclear to me why Mojang decided it was absolutely necessary to rework Minecraft combat. Maybe they thought that the game needed to evolve and progress, but they didn't know how to do that. Maybe they were wrong, or maybe they thought Minecraft just got a little bit too fun. But what I know for sure is that this update was a complete and absolute shitstorm. Even the Minecraft wiki says, This update is generally seen as the most controversial and infamous update to the game. While many people do like the new combat mechanic saying it makes it more intense, it doesn't, a lot of people do not, stating that it makes fighting mobs much more difficult. Now, of course, I don't fully agree with that statement, as honestly, I don't really care that much about fighting mobs. But what I do care about is PvP, and they literally took all the fun out of that. And you may think, how is that even possible? With a single update? Really? But the problem is, Mojang changed literally every single aspect of Minecraft PvP, and by every aspect, I mean literally every single one. We will go into why that caused such an outrage a bit later, but now let's go over the actual changes. New attack strength mechanic. Now you can just spam click your mouse and get these insane looking awesome combos. Now you can only hit your opponent once maybe every one or two seconds, which sure made it a bit more tactical, but it made it way less dynamic and way less exciting. Just compare this fight to this fight. This is an absolute joke. Dual wielding. Now you can use multiple items at the same time. Which, if they were trying to go for a more tactical approach, is honestly kinda weird, as it removes any strategy in how you switch between items and the timings required to swap between hotbar keybinds. What I meant to say was hotbar slots. The most obvious example of this in 1.8 is rod combos. You need to quickly switch to the rod, throw it, wait for it to hit, and then quickly switch back to carry out the combo. 
Same for no debuff PvP, where healing pots are the main mechanic. You need to quickly switch between them and throw them under yourself. But in Minecraft 1.9, you don't need all of that. You can just carry the item you want in your offhand. No need to learn how to hotkey or learn any timings. Oh, and also rods don't work in PvP anymore, like, at all. And on that note, let's actually talk about the items that were reworked. Armor now protects you less. Why? I honestly don't know, there was literally zero reason for that change. Axes are now way stronger than swords and can disable shields. Why? I have literally no idea. This practically removes the need for swords in PvP. Might as well just remove swords altogether. Swords are now way weaker and they can't block attacks, removing block hitting, another cornerstone of 1.8 PvP. Instead, they have the sweep ability, which allows you to hit multiple mobs at once. Meh. And of course, they added the shield, which allows you to block attacks. Those are pretty much all the notable changes that were related to PvP and combat. And now, we can check out the reaction of the public. Negative. Strongly, strongly negative. Of course, it's a bit hard to find videos of people's outrage about the update on YouTube since they are drowned out by this. But if you want to hear someone with an actual influence speak out about this update, here's Technoblaze's reaction. I think a lot of people, what they were looking forward to in a 1.9 video by me was having me hate on shields and sword changes, but I don't want to do that. Not because I don't think they're ridiculous, but because I think everyone has already pointed out how ridiculous they are. I, I can't do anything better than that. Here's an Ant Venom video about the topic. As you can see, the general public was really unhappy about this update. So you know what Minecraft 1.9 was, right? The update? Yeah, combat update. Yeah, combat update. So what, what do you think of the changes that were made in like 1.9? Uh, pretty bad. I mean... Like, you know, people like thought back in the day that Minecraft would like die because of it. I, I honestly thought too, because you know, like all, all that I knew about Minecraft was PvP at the time. But oh, yeah. uh, it turns out like they, we, you know, you can use both like 1.8 for PvP and like 1.9 plus for like other things. So it's kind of, you know, mm -hmm. not that big of a deal. You know, I got two versions for do two different types of people. Yeah, exactly. So like, or like now, like what six years after 1.9 release, do you think like are you good like okay with playing 1.9 or for PvP it still stick to like 1.8? For PvP, I definitely still stick to 1.8. So you still don't think like the 1.9 changes are like good? You still didn't warm up to them? Yeah, I, I've tried like a bit of 1.9 PvP, like with the shields and stuff, like all that. It's 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 complicated man you're better off just like going just going on your mouse and like you know getting g kill, killing people but yeah all right that's fantastic thank you swirl take care we subscribers here love our swirl don't problem man never never stopping go video game but why exactly you might be asking yourself because you maybe even like 1.9 pvp well let me tell you minecraft pvp mechanically has been the exact same for six years with maybe only minor changes being done to it and then suddenly everything gets reworked at once instantly with no warnings people didn't even get time to react and express their opinions they were just faced with the fact that yep this is minecraft pvp now okay and that lack of respect for the player base combined with the honestly pretty poor changes caused such a big outrage and the reason the newer Minecraft players might be fine with the combat update is because 6 years passed, they already got used to it, just how back in the day, players got used to 1.8 PvP. Minecraft 1.9 was a whole mix of misunderstandings, disrespect, and poor decisions on Mojang's end. But as much as it's despised by the older generations of players and loved by the new, it's a part of the game now and we kinda have to accept it. Who knows, maybe without it we wouldn't have some of the cool mechanics that we have today. And at least Mojang won't ever fuck up with an update that hard ever again, right? No.